Some can blow them bigger. Probably about this big. Some can blow them better. But only a few can blow them double. Americans are the champions of bubble gum. After all, we invented it. Or did we? Various types of gum have been around almost as long as chewing. Ancient Greeks gnawed on gum thousands of years ago. And even Christopher Columbus discovered Caribbean island natives chomping on the sticky stuff. Modern bubble gum was accidentally invented in 1928 by the chewing gum company Fleer. One of their accountants, a gentleman named Walter Diemer, who uh, was a, a bit of an inventor at heart, while playing one time with some ingredients, came across a, a new formulation for gum that would actually allow you to blow bubbles. Diemer dubbed his creation Double Bubble and gave it the signature pink color. The only reason it was pink is because that's what they had in the lab. Bubble gum was immediately snapped up by the public until World War II put a stop to production. All of the raw materials to make bubble gum in those days was diverted to the war use. People were screaming for it. After the war, bubble gum production hit full tilt and hasn't slowed down since. Today's bubble gum looks much the same as the original version with only a few changes. It has gotten less sticky. It was kind of a sticky mess back in those days. So what exactly is in that sticky stuff? Let's unwrap one of the big mysteries of gum. Well, you'd be surprised to know that uh, the majority of bubble gum is in fact rubber. Not that much unlike the kind of stuff that you have on your tires on your car. Hit the brakes! We've been chewing on car tires all these years? Well, once the shock is worn off, let's go inside the factory to see how they burn rubber into this sweet treat. First, the gum base is combined with sugar in a giant mixer. Then, workers add the pink hue and flavoring. Can you imagine cramming this much bubble gum into your mouth? The giant wad of sticky stuff is then stretched into miles and miles of bubble gum rope. It slithers down conveyor belts dusted with powdered sugar to keep these snakes from sticking. Finally, it's cut into bite-sized pieces and wrapped up. Pretty simple stuff, not brain surgery. Uh, we make millions and millions every day, uh, billions and billions every year. What is it about this chewy confection that keeps people cramming their cheeks with it year after year? For adults, it's a little blast of childhood. I think it was just such a part of growing up. For kids, it's just outright fun. I mean, I couldn't think of anything as a kid that I'd rather do than chew bubblegum, blow bubbles. The popularity of bubblegum stretches across generations, maybe because it sticks to our inner child, or maybe there's a more simple explanation. I think bubble gum is just inherently fun, and I don't care how good chocolate tastes, you can't blow bubbles with a chocolate bar.